Guys, you guys, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but I'm super, super excited. We are at the end of March. Things are going really, really well. I just realized I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Shouldn't have done that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back for realsies. Okay, so coming at the end of March, I personally have noticed that my hair is tending to be on a bit of the drier side. So for those of you guys who have been following me for years, you know that about three years ago, I put out a video um, how I make my homemade conditioner with coconut cream. I just picked some up from the store and I will be using that pretty soon. Um, so as of right now, you can actually hear my hair. You could probably also hear Tempest in the background complaining and living up to her name. I have been experiencing some dryness. I don't know if I'm doing something incorrectly, but it, it's not brittle. It's just a little more dry than I'd like it to be. But it's been a long time since I've used my homemade conditioner. So I will be incorporating that back into my routine just until I can see some changes and positive changes. So here we go, end of March. We're looking pretty good, guys. End of March. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm down with that. So what I've also been doing is looking at um, pictures and videos. Let's take a look actually before I start talking. Woo hoo And here's my waist. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so. I've also been looking at just random pictures and videos of right after I cut my hair. That way I know exactly what it's like to, um, or I can re remember what it was like to have such short hair and I can kind of track my progress and see how far I've come. Because even now sometimes I feel like my hair is just so short because I'll also go and look at videos and pictures right before I cut my hair. Kind of to let myself know and remind myself that I can have long hair, I have had long hair, and I will get there again. We are gonna be on a much healthier journey this time though, right? Right? And then just for the fun of it, let's do one on the side. Wow. But yeah, we are looking really, really good, you guys. This is where I started, wow. And I cut my hair in December of 2021, for those that might be wondering, so. But we are fast tracking this growth. I've been keeping everything as simple as possible. Um, I went a little haywire in the beginning just because I was freaking out because my hair has been so short, <laughs> or has been that short for a very, very, very long time. Um, but now it's really just spraying my hair with some mint and fenugreek seed water. Um, I also use some uh, oils and essential oils, not every single night, just kind of whenever I'm feeling up to it, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been, I wouldn't necessarily say lazy, I have been intentional about everything that I do with my hair, but I'm also not obsessing over the length of it and the growth of it. I'm just, I'm excited, but I'm no longer obsessed. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Yeah, let me know how far you guys have come in your journeys. How are you guys doing? We are three months in. Let's go, April. I'm super, super stoked and excited, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.